All right, a lot of times people see my videos and they ask me how I got my phone to look a certain way. The way I'm able to do that is what's called uh, rooting and then flashing themes. Now you can get these from a lot of places. I mainly get mine from XDA. So right now I'm gonna give you a quick look on how to do this. I'm not gonna show you how to root the phone because every phone is different. I, actually, I should just specify, this is only for the HTC Evo 4G and the Clockwork Mod. But if you use those, uh, find out information on them, I'm going to show you how I use them to customize my phone. Okay, we're going to do step number one, which is turning the phone off. So you hold down on that the power button, and then it's going to ask you what you want to do, and you say, power off. Now remember, you should already be fully rooted by the time you get to this step. If you're not fully rooted, go find someone else's tutorial and do it that way. Okay, now we're going to turn it back on in the recovery. You hold down on the volume down button and then you hold down on the top at the same time and you keep holding until the screen comes on and then you're going to see that you're in recovery mode. You wait for that to f finish, press volume down and go to recovery. Press power. All right, now you're going to go into the recovery mode on your Evo 4G. I'm going to say this for the last time. This is only for the Evo 4G using the clockwork mod. If you're not using that, and you do something else and your phone messes up, don't go in the comments because I'm not going to help you. You're going to see a lot of options of what you can do. Uh, usually what I advise doing is what's called an Android backup. That's where you back up your phone state as is. You go there and you press backup. So if something goes wrong, you can always return to that state. You can uh, come back into the recovery and choose restore instead of backup. And then that'll be a good safe way I do this periodically because uh, I flash a lot of stuff so before I do anything I try to make a backup uh, if it gets if your SD card gets too big take your backup files and put them on the computer so you can return to them at a later date all right uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, wipe or that <coughs> excuse me uh, factory reset okay and I'm gonna go to yes and then I wait and I don't do anything uh, whenever you're wiping or going to the recovery for any reason don't interrupt it until the screen updates and tells you that it's ready and don't turn it off don't pull the bar the battery out until it tells you that it's ready you know and make sure you're fully charged have like 75% to 100% of full battery okay now that I've uh, wiped everything and my data is clear I'm going to wipe cache make sure that's clear uh, this is gonna help me prevent errors from happening from later on and then I'm going to go to install zip from SD card alright then I go to install zip from SD card and I press the power button <coughs> and I'm gonna choose zip from SD card now the first thing I'm gonna do is load a new ROM on here and I've gotta go down and look for the name of my ROM which is fresh Okay, and then I press the power button and I let it do its thing and I put the phone down and I don't trouble it until it's done. Okay, now that I've loaded the ROM, I'm going to go back and make sure that I've got everything else that I need. And I'm going to reboot first just to make sure that the phone is able to run. And if that works, I'll go back and then apply the theme. You want to do things in stages. Uh, it's possible to just apply the theme at the same time. But I prefer to do stuff in stages because sometimes themes can break uh, files and what used to work no longer works. So I want to know what specifically goes wrong in, along the process. So that's personally what I do. Yeah, I had to run out and get lunch while I waited for that. But as you can see, <coughs> it's loaded up now. This is fresh. It's a ROM for your Evo 4G. And you can see the bottom is a little different. Uh, there's a lot of tweaks in here. I'm not really going to go into it. But let's say it looks still a lot like the default Android version for um, HTC. So I'm going to change things a little more. I'm going to load themes. And to do that, the next thing you need to do is go to a website called XDA Developers. It's xdadevelopers-.com. And then you're going to go to your phone, in this case the Evo 4G, 
and you look for themes and apps <coughs> and you just find a theme that you want to load for instance uh, let's say I want to load the man up Evo collection I go there and I look at what he's <coughs> excuse me and I look to see what he has and always make sure that you read and make sure that this theme is compatible with your phone. You don't want to download something that could mess up your phone or could corrupt it in any way. So always read, search for the download links. Uh, for this particular theme, it's not available at XDA, but there's a link to his website, digitalstylewars.com. You can get it there, it's really great. And then once you do that, you're gonna repeat the steps that we did to load the, the ROM. Only now we're turning it off going into recovery and loading a, a uh, <coughs> excuse me we're loading a theme which is also in a zip file just like we did when we loaded the ROM you power off and then we wait all right now we're back in recovery we're gonna go back to the same thing that we did before install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and then I'm gonna scroll down to find the one I want, you can do that with the volume down or up button. And I'm gonna look for a man up. <coughs> All right, and I'm looking for it. And I see the one that I named since Man Up Revolution. Always make sure you're installing the right one because, as you can see, I have it for uh, for Sense ROMs and also for CM6. If I try to install the CM6 one, it's likely to create a lot of problems. So always make sure you read and be sure you're doing the right thing. Press the power button, and I let the theme load itself. Uh. <coughs> Press the power button, and I let the theme load itself. Uh. <coughs> okay, when I turn it back on later, you see that my lock screen is suddenly different. You know, it's got a flat image rather than the, the beveled version. And when I slide down, say, hey, wait a minute, this search bar didn't look like that before. The bottom is different, as you can see. Uh, there's uh, some subtle changes, notifications tab, but you will notice them, obviously. And this is pretty much what happens when you customize your screen. If you want to take things further, you can go to uh, digitalstylewars.com for this particular theme and get some uh, transparent GIFs, some transparent stuff, it's a uh, lot of stuff you can change, and it's, this is pretty much how you install themes to customize your phone, uh, there's some more complex stuff you can do called Metamorph, but if you're watching this video, you're probably not ready for that, uh, so just go to XDA, learn a little more, read, that's all I can say, read, 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 when you read, you learn, and then once you do that, you should be okay and good to try other stuff. This is Andrew from Andronica.com saying hopefully this video was helpful to you. Be sure to watch many of our other videos.